Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember, check out our brand new app and get access to our new pharmacology and med surge mastery courses. Plus 11 other courses like fundamentals, pediatrics, maternity, mental health, and more. Complete with over 300 follow along cheat sheets and a massive quiz bank loaded with detailed rationales to test your knowledge. Join for free. Click the link in our description below. All right, guys, let's begin. Starting with gout, we have allopurinol and colchicine. These drugs are given to patients with gout where a lot of uric acid buildup causes inflammation in the joints. So naturally, it's a uric acid reducer. Now, normally, uric acid is excreted by the kidneys, so it also helps with kidney stones and helps with tumor lysis syndrome, that TLS, which can lead to kidney injury. Now, the big key difference is allopurinol prevents the gout to reduce uric acid, and colchicine is given for acute gout attacks with the colchicine. So the key point is that these drugs are not used to reduce pain, but rather to reduce the uric acid, which reduces the inflammation. Again, not for pain directly since it's not an analgesic. Now, one question bank says allopurinol do not take for acute gout attacks. And colchicine is for the acute attack and does not provide pain relief. Now, naproxen, the NSAID, is used for pain relief with gout. And a Kaplan question says, I can use ibuprofen for pain during gout. Now, the big key points for allopurinol. We stop taking if we see a mild rash and we report to the HCP immediately. That's the biggest NCLEX tip there. It could mean deadly Steven Johnson syndrome or even toxic epidural necrolysis. Fancy words for really bad skin rash. Now, the memory trick we use is rash all over for allopurinol is very deadly. So even a mild rash, we stop taking and we report to the provider. Now, next, we also increase fluids and we take with a full glass of water. This is done to prevent kidney clogging like a kidney stone and promote uric acid excretion. This was mentioned in two different quiz banks. So a HESI question has a question about a client that needs further teaching when taking allopurinol, stating, I will limit my fluid intake with this medication. So that is the correct option there. Now, lastly, we avoid clients with kidney and liver disease, and we always monitor labs for liver and renal function. And we evaluate the effectiveness by checking normal uric acid levels. But these are not priority teaching over increased fluid intake. Remember, increased fluid intake to excrete that uric acid and prevent those kidney stones. Remember, fluid is the main priority here. The fluid, fluid, fluid. So patient teaching for allopurinol is that it may take several months to work. This was mentioned by only one question bank. And again, it's not for acute attacks. Remember the P in allopurinol prevents the long-term gout, and the C in colchicine is for acute attacks. And then lastly, once again, NSAIDs are for pain during those attacks. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.